Welcome to Radio Fixer's channel. Subscribe for upcoming videos. In this video, I will try to fabricate paper capacitor container. Is this doable? Can I make it? I don't know, but we have nothing to lose by trying, right? So join me as I take you step by step through the entire process. Sit back, grab your favorite snack, and enjoy the video. I did my best to organize all this video so you can find it much easier. The way you access it, go to my channel, uh, select playlist, then check on the fabricating parts and uh, feel free to access all those videos. And meanwhile, you're here in this channel, go ahead and subscribe. And this is where is located subscription icon and select the bell so you'll be notified for upcoming video and select the thumbs up so YouTube uh, suggests this video to others. Thank you so much. I was trying to remove the old capacitors and restuff it with new ones but unfortunately the paper container due to its age fall apart so I thought, let's try to make one. Uh, you know how I am, like challenge and originality. I have some high valuable radio that someone removed the original cap. So I'm going to do my best to create one to see if it's doable or not. Some might say, Jay, why are you spending so much time to restuff old capacitors? Just install the new one under the chassis. No one going to see it. Let me try to explain why I'm doing this crazy stuff. Hopefully this will answer your questions. There are two reasons for it. One, I like to fix or restore the radios as original look as possible. No shortcut for me, you know. Number two, collectors pay much more for high value radio when restored as close to original. I've seen this through the years. Collectors are paying much more for the radios when restored stored as close to original as possible. So you don't really need to do this. This is for those of you that like, you know, restore or fix the radio to close to original condition as possible. Hopefully this helps. Let's start. All right, as you saw, this fall apart. This was tons of tar in the bottom. And so it didn't come out or all you see is all destroyed. So let's see if we can make something like this. Is this doable? I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure. I have not done this before. This is the first time. But uh, let's see if we can figure it out. It's just a cardboard, you know, that's all it is. So let's see if we can create something like this. We can try, right? We have nothing to lose. That's how we learn stuff. I've got a toilet paper roller and actually take it apart like that select that all right then i cut it in the middle i already cut this two piece like that cut it this glue stick things i have i think this is a good size i want a little smaller than this this was too big you see it fit in here that should work because this is too big. Why decide this size? Because these two capacitors, they should fit in here like this. And they should fit. Uh, you see here it's too big. And it's too big. I don't want to put this under the chassis. Too th really thick. Uh, so how are we going to do this? I'm going to get my glue, my favorite glue, and paintbrush. Let's see if this is doable or not. All right. We know it's done like this. Let's see if we can make our own. Or not, at least in this line, we need to glue all across. All right. It's going to be a messy process, but who cares? 
you always can wash my hair, right? Okay, you see? Come on, it should be a little tighter than this. That's good. That's a good start. You want to make sure it's pretty tight. Okay, we got this started. Okay, over here. I'm gonna put my finger in and twist it like that to so get tighter. This is good. That's exactly what I want. And I'm gonna put it all around it and let it sit overnight like this. We're gonna work on it tomorrow. All right, this is next day. Uh, this is totally dried. So what I did to curve here, I like the original. If you look at the original, it has that curve as well. Let me show you what exactly I did. Get this put all the way up here, like this. Then you start bending it, right? So you bend that, all right? And then you get some other thing that it can go inside here like that. You press this inside. When you get it right, then pull it out of here and start rolling like that. Just want to show you the concept. You see, that's what I did here. All right, so I'll show you quickly. Of course, it took me a little longer to do this. And then I went to the computer and start drawing something like this. You start cutting it in different size until you get the right size. Then this is the correct size for it. See where is the flat, not the bottom. It's going to be glued right here, right? And then of course in the end I'm going to bend it over. Let's see if this is doable or not. Let's glue it first, all right? Okay. So you see. All right, again, this is the glue we're going to use. And put a very thin layer. You can also spray it if you want to with some type of glue. Okay, this is the top. Then we're going to bend this inside. All right. Now we're going to cut it. A little thicker cardboard this size and press it all the way into the bottom so it turns like this, something like that. All right, we've got a cardboard like this. It's not corrugated, it's regular cardboard. We're going to mark it. Let's cut this. Of course, you know, it should be a smaller cut. Let's see if I cut it correctly or not. Perfect. Get this. See? Perfect. That's what I want. All right. What we're going to do now, we're going to glue everything. So give a shine to it and also protect it. This is the same glue, but this is diluted with water. The other one was not, this one is not diluted. This is diluted. So I'm going to use this, like that. You will see when it dries, it's going to look very nice. So you see, I put glue all over it, everywhere. So I'm going to let it dry. Meanwhile, this is drying. I'm going to work on those capacitors that it goes inside here. All right, that's all you have to do, not let it dry. All right, before installing any capacitor, make sure to measure it to see if it's still in the range or not. See, of course, negative goes to negative side. See that? That's one of them. Let's check the other one. So you don't want to install that and realize that capacitor went bad. Okay, this is 20. So it's in range. All right, we're going to use these two capacitors to install them. All right, I cut three wires. Of course, one black and two red. I already used this tool I'll take the insulation out. Now I'm going to make a, I think they call it pigtail. You get the screwdriver, you twist this thing around like that. All right. 
then this goes over the negative. Yeah. Definitely there. See that? Okay, now we're going to solder here. Okay, that's done. See solder very well. Okay. That's the shrinking tube. Put it all the way down here, all the way down as far as you can. Then you get lighter. We are going to use the same concept to install these two red wires to the positive side of each capacitor. Since our capacitors, they have the same value. If your capacitor has a different value, you can change the color for your wire. The majority of time, a schematic indicate what colors of wires are. It's always good to use one of these so the heat doesn't go in the capacitor or the parts. So you put it right, right here somewhere and hold it like that. Right? All right, that side is done too. Need at least this side is right here. See when all the way down. You're insulating the wires. That's all they're doing. Okay. This is done. This is totally dried up. See how nice it is now? See that? It's looking great. All right. You put this inside like that. I can leave this inside the radio this way. So the next person see this is, they can pull it out. Or I can fill it up. So, let me fill it up. Because I always can take it out, right? This is for the glue gun. I'm not going to put glue gun directly here, you know, glue it because it's too hot, the darn thing. Then, I'm just going to fill this up like that. Not all the way, just a little bit. Then, service it. I won't show you what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to cut it in half. Make sure you don't cut yourself with a razor. All right. Now I'm going to use my heat gun, heat this area. Now you can use your glue gun to finish it off of this cheap solder gun. Then now I start melting them like that. See, so this way you just heat up the surface, you don't heat up really the capacitors at all. If you need to add some, always you can add get some glue on, just the glue itself, then you can add it. And just don't touch the wires with this, this is hot, you're going to burn through. Just be careful. All right, that's done. And you know, they have this uh, glue, different color. You can use different color. Folks, this is it. This is what we put together. Now we're going to test it to make sure, you know, that heat didn't mess up anything. Awesome, it's working. Now we can install it in the radio. As I mentioned, this is the first time I'm making something like this. I, I was wondering, can I really do this? <laughs> is this possible to make something like this? And you saw it's doable. It's doable. So it looks very nice. It's looking great. I really like it.
at least looks close to what it's supposed to be, right? <laughs> I don't know, I'll just say that. That's what I thought looked good, match others. If you look at here, and the need of chassis, it's going to be installed right here. See, it goes with everything else, right? And it's a Philco. So remember, the other one it got messed up. So it's looking good, huh? Much is smaller than the other one. At this time, I want to take the opportunity and thank my subscribers uh, with their uplifting comments. You always encourage me to upload more videos since this is just a hobby of mine. Again, I appreciate you. Enjoy all these videos and you all have an awesome day. Take care. If you're interested to see more videos like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and you will be notified uh, when a new video being uploaded.